Um, I haven't really stood up and made a video in a while, so this is kind of weird for me. But, um, let me just say that I'm, like, so tired. I laid in bed just, like, on Tumblr for, like, an hour until I finally forced myself to get up, made breakfast, and now I still want to lay in bed. But I am trying to be productive, so that's a good thing. Um, so, last month, well, yeah, last month I started trying to do this thing, and it's kind of like um, just showing my growth throughout the year because um, for my New Year's resolution there were so many things that I wanted to do, and then I realized that I just want to be a more positive and more um, maybe athletic. There are things that I just would like to change about myself so that I can just grow and become not really a better person, but maybe like a better me, and it's kind of like my road to a better me. Um, when it comes to like being social sometimes I'm kind of like lacking and um, talking or expressing myself I kind of like get shy or whatever when working on my hair and on my um, body's health and my mental health and all of this that is what I'm working on this year so um, I figured that I might just do like a monthly thing and I would, like vlog every time I feel like talking or if I'm going somewhere that's like really cool, I can put them all into that one vlog and I will show it to you guys at the end of every month. And I decided that I'm going to make it <clears throat> a Monday video at the end of every month. So prepare for one of these videos every end ending of the month. Yeah? Um, so I just want to let you guys know that um, this month I kind of got like a bit more like open. like. Um, like some people that I went to talk to in my classes that I was like shy to talk to in like January, like I was like hella nervous, I talked to them and they're just like, you know, regular old human beings, you know, whatever, and I was just very proud that I actually just went up and it was me, I, no one, I didn't have to wait for anyone to come and talk to me, I went and talked to them. And so that's like one growth thing that I'm hella proud of. And now I can just use my vocal cords to say all the words that are in my brain. Um, I'm getting more organized. I have things up. I'm just doing so many other things that it's just making me really excited for. But I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to show you guys everything that I recorded um, in the month of February. So I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you guys on Friday. Yeah, I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye! Hey guys. I have not vlogged in a while. Um, I came back from my trip to Maryland. Two days from now, I will be having my winter semester finals. And I can't wait for this semester to be over because my teachers were so annoying. Well, my media teacher was okay, but my psych teacher, he was cool until he got annoying and annoying. So, but anyways, I've been feeling negative, like really negative, and I keep like thinking of ways I could like change myself and make myself like more positive, more zen, um, more exercisey, more like go and hard and do everything well and whatever yeah, whatever um but I don't know I just were feeling like negative like I all right so here are some things that I've been feeling negative about it'll be like like it always comes out to my body I don't know why I'm, I've been checking myself out like a lot lately so I think that's good um like some parts of my body, like my butt, feel like my butt's on point. My thighs, I love my, I love my legs. My legs are on point. My boobs are awesome. My muscles, like you see my muscles, and they're awesome. My face is beautiful. Um, but I'm always just like, oh, my tummy, because I mean it looks so cute, like in the morning, and I haven't eaten yet, and then when I start eating, then it gets all full, and I'm just like, uh. And then I was like good with exercising in like January. But then I stopped, and um, I stopped doing the yoga, and I was just like, oh, I don't have to do yoga every day, but I keep seeing, like, all these yogis, and I'm like, oh, I want to be that, but then I'm just like, but I don't want to, blah, blah, blah. and I feel like I'm, like, setting that back, and maybe that's a part of my negativity, um, so I'm going to try and, like, just do everything that I'm telling myself that I'm going to do, and I keep trying to go on these, like, vegetarian sprees, but then I just don't, like, um, 
I was supposed to do that yesterday. I did it all for sun all Sunday. No, all Monday. But today I started it off and then I had Chinese food, which my body is like does not want in me at all. My body does not want junk food. Like Chinese food, it does not want that. So I cannot eat that anymore. Um but I did have curry chicken. My curry chicken is on point. I need to teach you guys how to make it. But anyways, um, I feel like I like I would go into like the best way for me to really take care of my body is not to like take away things as if it's like some sort of punishment or whatever. Um, just eat well and eat healthier, and I should do that. But then I feel, sometimes I get like lost in the whole eating healthy. That I mean. But yeah, I get like lost in the eating healthy and then sometimes I start resorting to like junk food and like overeating it and that makes me feel bad. So, um, yeah. And I've also been like ne feeling negative because I'm like, like every, alright, so I'm always proud of my friends. Always proud of my friends. And Sinechu, um, you guys will know Sinechu by the time you guys see this video. But Sinatra is doing so many things and it's so great. I'm so proud of him. And I'm like, I'm not doing anything. Sorry, just heard of a child. Um, but I'm just like, I'm not doing anything. And it's kind of like bumming me out a lot. Like, what am I even doing? I don't know. And then I don't have that many people to talk to. I was like, to John. To John is busy. Miriam has her own life. Everyone has their own life. Deal. Everyone has things to do, and I feel like I'm just stuck doing nothing. And I guess it's, it's frustrating me that like there's no one for me to talk to. I guess because I mean, like, only have a select few friends. Like, I have Sinechu, Miriam, Tajana, Brandon. Only four. If there's anyone else, and I do not remember them. And I guess that means that they're not friends. But they're my only four friends, and yeah, they're all doing things, and I'm not doing anything. I feel like I'm not doing anything. I feel stuck, and there's so many things I want to do and I want to change, but I feel so, like, stuck right now. And I don't know how to move forward. And it feels good to actually get that off the chest, because I didn't even think about it until I started talking. Jeez. These videos are gonna have like nice long pauses with me just chatting for like a really long time. I I can feel it. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Bye. So I was doing like a lot of stuff on Snapchat and then I was just like, why don't I just record this for my vlog? That makes more sense. By the way, my Snapchat will be below. I do all my social medias every now and then. And when I do, I feel that they are amazing and great. So, yeah. All right, so I am feeling pretty good today. Um, after I got out of school, which was maybe two days ago, yeah? Um, I went to the first. I went to the first um, guy know, and I'm sure you don't want to know that, and that's probably like a TMI. But I'm saying it anyway, and I am such an adult that I call the gynecologist the gyno dino. And after I went to the gyno dino, I called my mom and I said the same thing, and she was just like, "Wow." She wasn't like, "Wow." She just deals with me, and that's why I love my mom. But anyways, um, for the past two days, I've pretty much just been. Um, I'm not doing it now, but I was watching YouTube videos and Netflix and Hulu and catching up on my shows and on Tumblr and playing Sims. Um, I finally finished reading Looking for Alaska and I've also finally decided that I will not read another John Green book. I love John Green, like his, I feel like his, um, his writing is very, um, poetic maybe. Um, his, he's a very great writer. His books are very, very good. But there's a lot of emotion and I can't handle that much emotion. So maybe I'll just be taking like a, a quite long break from John Green books. Just for right now, I can't deal with the emotional stress that I get put into. So pause for John Green. My next book that I'm going to be reading is The Fifth Wave. Um, I hear that that book is going to become a movie and I've been wanting to read that book for years maybe like a year or two now 
but I didn't buy it and I recently bought it and now that I'm finished with looking for Alaska now I'm gonna start reading this one I love when books I like when books turn into movies because I guess it means that they are really good because the books that I've read that got put into movies they are actually really good so I'm just keeping up the faith even though I don't like watching the movies I'm rambling right um so this year um I said that this year is going to be the year of the fro the year that I get my exercise and all of that together um I kind of lack an exercise but I I, I eat well and sometimes I know that sometimes like when I eat sometimes I'll get like eat like a lot of junky food because I just get kind of excited for the food I love food I'm a foodie and that's why I feel like I really need to get into exercising so then I can the eating will compensate for the exercising uh, you know what I mean hopefully you know what I mean but um yeah today I've been eating well and I've been drinking lots and lots of water every day um I filled this up when I'm at home by myself. My neck just did like the weirdest thing. That kind of felt weird. But I drink this from this every day and I had three of these today and I had two, three cups of teas already. So I've been using the bathroom a lot lately. Um, so yeah, that's good. And drinking water and eating good is also good for the hair and it's good for the body and that's awesome. So I really, okay, I really need to start eating. I eat well. I need to stop playing. Oh, now I'm rambling. Okay, it's done rambling. All right, so this year there are so many things that I want to do. There's this yoga move that I really can't wait to like. You know when you do the nice, cool yoga handstands? I want to do that so badly. I want to get enough muscle strength in my body to be able to do that. I feel like I've been enjoying yoga. I've been really enjoying yoga. I've love doing yoga but I just need to have the time for me to chill sometimes it's just that um my whole family's home so everyone's doing stuff and there's not that much space in my room so I would try and do it in the living room but the living room is where everyone is so it's kind of um hard for me to do the yoga in there so um yeah it's okay though um I started jogging I want to get into jogging and running and stuff like that because I've never been much of a runner but I'm a good walker so yeah yes um i was also thinking about getting braids in my hair i was thinking about this lately but i don't know just like as because it's good for like um keeping your hair like chill just like waiting what are they called it's like the styles that protective hairstyles that's what it's called and um i could do that but then like when you first get your hair braided it hurts like a bitch and it hurts to sleep and doing yoga will be bad with it just exercising in general will be bad in my opinion because I'm used to like having like no hair but then I've been getting like getting lazy doing my hair so maybe I should get braids but I don't know but anyways I wanna do... well I can kind of do these now well I can do these now but I want to learn how to do these that would just make me super duper happy to be able to do that and I tried doing that with one of my yoga thingies, but it didn't actually really work out for me, so, um, yeah. Today was also, um, job hunting, because I feel like it's really good for me to do some job hunting. Me needs the money for me trip to the UK and for now, because me getting brooks. So, um, Joss, Joss, should probably clean my room, since I will be in my room for the next week. Um... It's cold outside and I feel like it's just getting colder and colder and I kind of rather just stay indoors than bear the cold, to be honest. I'm not a cold person. I feel like it needs to be spring right now. I don't know what's taking it. I don't know why it's taking this long. It needs to be spring. Um, so now that I, have, I feel like I'm done rambling, I will let you guys breathe for like a second until the next clip. So. I also wanted to like take my camera out more and start writing more but it, it was like the time between school and then it takes like so long for me to get to school and back and then when I have my break time that I kind of want to chill or hang out with friends or do something so I haven't um, taken my camera or my book my writing book out lately it's also kind of like that thing is my camera is heavy um, so I would just take pictures on my phone I got a paper cut I wasn't even touching paper
I didn't touch any paper. How did I get it cut? The hell? And my lens for my camera, can you see it? You can't see it. Yeah, that's broken. But it still looks good like when I take pictures. Like that's on selfie, so this is how I be looking. Isn't this like camera reception? Wow. Whoa, don't take a picture. Damn it. Alright. But this is how it looks like the back. This is trippy, right? It's trippy. So it's not bad. But it's still just like, what if something gets in there? That would be bad. But I don't have the money to pay for it. So that's sucky. I need to clean up. I'm gonna make myself some dinner. Maybe I'll clean up before I make dinner. Yeah. Put on Just Friends because that's one of my favorite movies and I haven't watched it in a year. Like literally a year and I know it's a year because the last time I watched it I was living in my parents' house. So um, yeah, I have to watch that like right now. Mmm, smudgy. Alright, I'm done. Um, so yeah. Me done talking. We see you later. Me cleaning my room. Yeah. It was really bad before. And I'm watching my favorite movie, Friends with Benefits. And it's not real good. Thing. I am so in love with this movie. I love this movie. I <sighs> just love this one. It just makes me so happy. It's weird. No movie about friends having sex and just. I don't know. Alright, that's weird. Alright. I love the movie. I don't care. What up? So today, I'm doing something out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Sorry, I just tripped. So today, I'm doing something out of my comfort zone. I am going to this, like, meeting or whatever to, um... Fuck, I can't even explain it. I'm doing something out of my comfort zone. I work with a whole bunch of other people to like do some like concert not really concert because there's no like music but it's like you get a whole bunch of people together to like see what are they called maybe like a fair and it's like maybe a positivity fair and young people go there and um like things to make you happy or whatever and stuff like that so that's what I'm doing today and I'm gonna go and meet the people but first I'm gonna go talk to my mommy and steal sugar from their house and then get Starbucks and then go so that's what I'm doing today um, but I'm not gonna vlog the whole day but um, it's just what I'm doing today February 22nd Sunday <sighs> yeah okay. I've also been loving myself more lately. Um, taking my own selfies, Instagramming and jamming, Snapchatting and hacking. But anyways, I just been loving myself more and taking more pictures of myself and enjoying my face and my features and that makes me happy. Loving parts of my body, like my butt and my boobs. <laughs> but I'm just enjoying myself, so I think that's great. 